Hi Chris, it's very early on Sunday, December 19th, and I'm doing another video because I felt like it. Uh, so first thing I want to say is uh, we got your package today, so thank you for the turkey and ham. Looks like it'll be delicious. Uh, secondly, now let's see, Friday I had half the day paid time off work, went to a holiday party. Uh, that was interesting. It wasn't nearly as lame as, you know, those things, at least in my mind, seem like they're going to be. So it was actually pretty cool. So we got there, I got there, and my boss was orchestrating a seen it mini tournament or game, I guess. I didn't participate. I just actually sat there and worked on my art while, while they were doing their stuff. But that's what he did, and that's what some of the other people did. We played seen it on the Xbox. And it was actually a little bit more interesting than I anticipated. So that was kind of fun. And then after that was done, we all just kind of socialized for a little while. And then eventually, we he roped everybody into a drinking game. Uh, we played a drinking game called Kings. And basically, you have a deck of cards. You go through. Everybody goes around the circle and uh, is drawing a card, basically. And turning it face up. And you have to take an action based on what the card is. And let's see, an ace meant you get to create a rule. Two, three, and four, you assigned drinks to someone or like people at the table. You could divvy them up or give them all to one person, whatever you wanted. Five was sentences. So one person says a word, next person says the second word. You each go around the table making a sentence until someone says something that isn't really grammatically feasible or someone can't come up with a word. Six meant that you had to be the person fetching beers and drinks for everybody at the table until someone else got a six. Seven meant the person to your left had to take a drink. Eight meant that you were the quote thumb master and anytime you put your thumb on the table everyone else had to put their thumb on the table and the last person to do that had to take a drink. Um, and you can do that whenever you want to, as long as you're a thumbmaster until someone else got an eight. Uh, nine meant the person to your right, so seven, person to that. Nine person to your right. Uh, ten was social, just meant everyone had to drink. A jack was for categories, so the person who drew it would name a category, and then you had to go around the table naming things in that category. So you did like cereal and Pixar movies, and car types, and that sort of thing. And Queens were questions. And what that was, is basically you're asking a question of someone at the table, and they have to respond either to you or to someone else at the table with another question. If they screw up and start to answer the question, then they lost and they have to take a drink. That was really fun because I was able to, I, was, I got someone really uh, creatively and so did one of the people that subbed in. So his thing was, he, he got it and he asked a question and it went back and he asked somebody, he was like, what, or no, somebody asked him a question and then it, you know, it's a new guy asked a question. His response is, well, wait, what does that card mean? Which totally like screwed people over. It was great. Um, and then... The other thing, playing off of that, uh, another round, the new guy had asked some question, and I was like, he asked the question of me, but he chuckled a little while he was doing it, because we had some weird rules in place that were kind of funny. Um, so then I look over, and I'm like, does that count, because didn't he laugh? Does that count, because didn't he laugh? And... Uh, they thought that I was calling him out and what I was doing was asking a question. So uh, I totally screwed the person I was asking over and that worked very well. Uh, and then final card was, of course, the king. And the king meant for the first three kings, you had to add whatever amount you wanted of alcohol to the king's cup. And then the fourth king meant you had to drink the cup. So it was, it was an interesting game. Obviously, not something I would play all the time since I don't want to do a lot of drinking. But uh, for a holiday party, it was entertaining at least. And it was probably the 
most fun I've had at a holiday party or that sort of like work function type thing in, in quite a long time. So, so it was good. Other thing that's been developing, I've been adding my artwork to various websites, uh, basically trying to find a way to actually, you know, sell stuff. And it's been going okay. Uh, an artist that I know from Macintosa raised the concern that, you know, adding, adding stuff to all these sites and whatnot, they're, you know, they have their quality control. And it may or may not actually meet with what I would deem good enough quality for my stuff. Uh, they also had the point that you can actually have your pieces increase in value if you, you know, are tracking who you're releasing them to and have like a designated number and are autographing them and keeping trying you know, lot number one, two, three, up to a hundred or a thousand, however many pieces, how many versions of that piece you do, uh, and just have it be a limited set of production as opposed to just unlimited or replication. Um, but I figure the what I'll do, so I went back and forth a little bit of whether it'd be better to go that way or go with the just you know, get stuff out to the extent that I could way. And what I've decided is I'm going to keep the things that I've got posted online and, and mark stuff that way as a generic, you know, mass produced set of stuff. And then eventually build my own site from which people could purchase more you know, higher quality, maybe, it may not even be higher quality, I, I, I'm pretty sure that at least some of the sites are, you know, really producing good stuff, uh, but produce stuff that I know is high quality, and I'll sign it and have a lot number associated with it, ownership certificate, that sort of thing, um, but that's like eventually down the road, because it involves more work for me, and the whole reason I've never sold any of my artwork, prints or anything is because of the work involved in doing it and the whole, you know, I don't have time to mess with that crap argument. So eventually I'll do more, but in the meantime, I'm just going to market stuff in a way that requires very little from me. Uh, and speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and stick a link in the doobly-doo uh, to the the gallery that I thought was the most interesting or the, the best, most well done, I suppose. Uh, so look for that. It will be up well, now since I'll be adding it when I add the video. Uh, but yeah, other than that, not a lot going on. Hope things are going well with you and yours. Merry Christmas and don't forget to be awesome.